So ball is placed at the 50. Uh, this is the start of the fourth and final quarter. Score is deadlock tied, 21 to 21. Ball exactly midfield. Second and eight opportunity for Lyman. Lyman still with that backup quarterback, 14. Hand the ball off to Leeper. Leeper sheds a would-be tackler, 55. And then he gets brought out of bounds just past midfield inside Centauri Falcon territory. Ball is now on the 48-yard line. Clear down Badgers. Okay, ball is placed at the 48. So uh, Lyman inside Centauri Falcon territory under 11 minutes to go. 10:41 uh, to be exact. And that is going to be a false start on the offense on Lyman. So Lyman now, who was in Centauri territory, is now in their own territory. Okay, ball is plays at the 47 yard line. So Lyman operating at their own 47 yard line up formation. Uh, number 10 uh, in motion towards the near side. 14, hands off to Leeper. Leeper gets to the second level, but gets brought down. Let's see, by uh, Baron Holman. So ball is going to be placed at the 49. It's going to bring up, um, <clears throat> let's see, about fourth and 10 or fourth and nine situation. It's a very pivotal fourth down opportunity for the Lyman Badgers. Um, I would imagine they're going to go for a punt, but the usual punter is actually their starting quarterback, Trey Hines, who is still out with an injury. 14 going to punt it out of the shotgun formation, and it is going to get a Lyman favorable bounce, and they're going to set it at the 10. So Shotcroft out of shotgun formation. Uh, twins flank to the near side. <laughs> so ball is at the 17 yard line. Second and eight opportunity for Byron Shotcroft. Uh, Clonch flank behind him. He's going to throw to Baron Holman. Baron Holman on the far side of the field. And he's going to be brought down at about the 18-yard line.
Okay, so uh, twins flank to either side. Zach Byrne motion on the far side. Baron Holman, or Byron Holman actually calls his own number. <coughs> and that was on second and about 20. Okay, so ball is placed at the 16 yard line. Byron Shockroft, single back formation, handed off to Clonch, Mason Clonch. And Mason Clonch going to cross the 15 to about the maybe 17 or 18. So that's going to bring up a fourth and long situation, which is going to bring out the punting crew. Under eight minutes, clock continues to run. Okay, so Kalanch going for the punt. Decent booming punt. Going to take a favorable Centauri bounce. And it's going to get downed at about the 37, 36 yard line. So Lyman going to be at their own 36, 37. your first team for orthopedics. Expert care for sports, injuries, joint replacement, and ligament surgery. Okay, so double reverse to Leaper. Leaper gonna cross the 40 and get to about the 30, 37, 38 yard line. Second and four, under seven minutes to go. Score is still gridlock tied at 21 all. So ball placed at the 43 yard line. So Lyman still inside their own territory, I formation. So timeout is called on Lyman. So that now means that Lyman still has two timeouts, while Centauri has conserved all three of their timeouts. Pepsi has had a tradition of great taste, and Colorado football has had a tradition of great plays. Celebrate that tradition with zero guilt and grab a Pepsi Zero Sugar. So Lyman Badgers setting up shop. So they are at their own 
let's say 37 yard line. Actually 43 yard line. <coughs> First back through the line, very minimal gain. Which is gonna bring up a, looks to be, let's see. So that's going to bring a third down and two situation for Lyman. Under six and a half minutes to go. Six, 12 to be exact. Lyman, I formation 14, gets stood up by Burr and Clonch. So Burr and Clonch doing a great one two punch job there. So clock continues to run. Okay, so uh, five and a half minutes to go in this fourth and final quarter. The 14 backup quarterback hands off to Leeper, and Leeper gets brought down by Baron Holman, and Baron Holman is back in the contest. Okay, Byron Shawcroft hand the ball up to Clunch. Clunch sheds a would-be tackler, and the entire Lyman Badgers defense was literally chasing after him. Number 21, Mason Clunch, the ball carrier. So just under now five minutes to go in this contest. It is score 21 all. Six to go. <coughs> Third and 13. Ball. Centauri is in Lyman territory. Byron Chakra. Pump fake. Going for broke. Oh, damn. Almost brought down by Baron Holman. That was phenomenal effort there by Baron Holman. Just out of the outstretched grasp of Baron Holman. That was a home run shot, ladies and gentlemen. So Clonch, high end over end, but it looks like it's going to go out of bounds. So we're going to see where they place that football. Ball is 
was on the 25-yard line. First down, Badger. Okay, so ball is placed at the 25-yard line. So Lyman operating their own 25-yard line. 440 to go. Lyman now has the ball. Backup quarterback, 14. Rolling out to his near side. Hits five in stride as five falls to, down to the ground. Number five, Kai Bandy. So approaching four minutes left in this ball game. Second and 10 opportunity for Lyman. Backup quarterback, 14, hands off to 20. 20 pinball and spinning. 51, helping with the block. The ball is at the 37 yard line. As a first down for the Lyman Badgers. Under four minutes to go, approaching three and a half minutes to go. Ooh. So the backup quarterback, number 14, uh, bobbled a snap. Luckily for him, he did pounce on it. Let's see, so we got a 32-yard line. Lyman Badger, single back formation, five-step drop. Number 14, the backup quarterback, still on his feet. Running towards the far side of the field. He's going to be brought down by Clunch and a host of Centauri Falcons. So uh, two minutes and 50 seconds to go. Score is tied 21 all. Third and 11, very pivotal and crucial. Third down and 11 opportunity. Fourteen backup quarterback going on the near side. There is a flag. Punch brings him down. And that was holding on Lyman. So they're going to march the football back. The penalty is declined. That's going to bring up a fourth down and 15 to go. 244 remaining. Score is still 21 all. So 14, I'm not sure if he's going to punt or fake it. Burr with it. Still on his feet. Nice run there by Burr. Two minutes and 26 seconds left on the clock. 21 to 21. Zach Burr with the run of his life. Clutch with the ball, very minimal gain at best. Bring it 
to the five yard line. Fourth down and one at the three yard line. So they're going to get a timeout charged to the Centauri Falcons. Centauri Falcons still have one timeout to go. 21 to 21, still tied. 106 to go. Okay, so ball is placed at the three yard line, fourth and one for the Centauri Falcons going for the field goal here is Centauri. Caleb Anderson. yard line backup quarterback 14 going for the jugular and he is going to get it to about the midfield at about the 50.
Okay, so gut check time here, ladies and gentlemen, fourth quarter, 44 seconds to go in uh, this game. So 50, 49 yard line, backup quarterback, 14, throwing a number 10, and number 10 going to get down at about the 40, 37 seconds to go. Okay, 14, backup quarterback going towards the near side, and he gets tipped down for a loss for a quarterback sack by Mason Clunch. 16 seconds to go, ladies and gentlemen. One timeout each between Lyman and Centauri. Centauri leads 24 to 21. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. Crowd on their feet. 16 seconds to go. Second down and 12. One timeout each, 24 to 21. Centauri leads this contest. Fourth quarter action in Pueblo. CSU Pueblo, the Eddie DeRose Thunder Bowl, ladies and gentlemen, home of the D2 2014 National Champions. So Leeper goes in motion to the far side. Backup quarterback. Throws it, tips it, and it's going to be brought down. There is a flag on the play. 11 seconds to go. Okay, so 11 seconds to go, second and 17. Possibly two plays, maybe three, but Lyman is out of timeout. One timeout left for Centauri. 24 to 21 is the score in favor of the Centauri Falcons. Backup quarterback 14, bobbles at 15. 15 still on his feet to about the 40 as Zach Burr brings him out of bounds. So five seconds to go. This is it. This most likely is the last play of the ball game. Centauri in favor. They have the poker chips on their side of things. It is. Uh, they have one timeout, and they are ahead by three points. It'll be it. So timeout on Centauri. Uh, both teams are out of timeouts, so you got to know that Centauri wants to strategize and get ready on the defensive side, but by calling a timeout, that also allows Lyman to plan for a strike. So um, if I were a betting man, I would imagine that the Lyman Badgers are going to go for broke and go for a touchdown and not try to settle that. That would be one long field goal. So if, if it's at the, uh, let's see, 37-yard uh, line, you take it uh, seven yards back, that would be the 44 or 10-yard, that would be a 54-yard field goal. That would be way too long unless you have a heck of a leg for a high school field goal kicker in the 1A rank. So this is gut check time for the Lyman Badgers. 24 to 21. This is it, guys. 
So we basically have 20 state titles for Lyman and Lahara slash Centauri has one. So 20 versus one. Centauri wants it more. So we're gonna see five seconds to go. Backup quarterback going for the Hail Mary. And it's gonna be brought down. End of the game. That is the end of the game. Centauri Falcons are starting the field. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end.